Not everybody gets to live where they grew up and not everybody gets to kind of see their lives come full circle. I've literally known Steve since I was a little boy and we were the, we're the exact same age. Um, I guess the reality is we grew up in different neighborhoods together. Uh, we had a lot of things in common and some things different, uh, but I've some people you meet and right away you like them and then as you know them in later parts of life they never change and that's Steve. Yeah, I probably have known Steve for at least a couple of decades now. We've been friends since, you know, literally uh, probably first grade. Maybe we met sometime before then, I don't know. And we've met off and on over the years. But he was a guest on my television show, Anything is Possible. My guest today is Steve Davis. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. Thank you very much. When I say the word hero, what's the first thing you think? But when he came on the set, as he started to describe his father and the imprint and impact of his father, I thought he was talking about my father. The stories were so similar about the shaping effect of these great men on our lives and the dreams that we were realizing that they never got to realize. Dad really taught that. He said, the guy that makes 100 bucks a week and spends 90 is much better off than the guy that makes 1,000 and spends 1,200. Now, that, we're talking about 30 years ago when that was real money. But he truly taught, it's not how much you make, it's, it's what you spend. It's, it's how you value things. One of the things I appreciate the most about him is he looks and says, you know, life has afforded me a lot of opportunities. I had great parents. I got to go to college at the University of Tennessee. I had business opportunities. And he took advantage of those. And so one of the things that I think I appreciate and others appreciate about Steve is not just about, I got mine, now you get, you know, I, I'm not gonna worry about you. Steve is like, you know, I, I've been able to have a, a great degree of success. I want others to have that same opportunity. And I think the fact, particularly around the deal we've worked on to get the new stadium built here, Steve's been, you know, really focused on how do we create opportunities, particularly for minority businesses that haven't had that chance. Uh, because he got that chance and he wants to see it happen more, particularly here. When I see Steve Davis and all that he's accomplished as a businessman, as a philanthropist, as a person that gives back, because that's huge. Every time I'm around him, he makes me want to be better. He appreciates what a lot of people have done for him. People that have all, I guess you might say all backgrounds, all walks of life. Everybody knows you don't do everything by yourself. And Steve believes in that wholeheartedly. He knows that he, he's been helped. And he appreciates that he's been helped. So he wants to help others as well. I just keep having this image of him talking about his dad. That's what his father did. If you really looked at it, based on what he was given, maybe everybody didn't see the value or the value proposition, but he certainly believed in himself and his children. And when you look at what he's accomplished, it, it might be 50x of where they started. That's a great leader. Uh, a child growing up in East Knoxville probably can't look at Bill Haslam and say, oh, that's, you know, I, I see the path from here to there. They can look at Steve and say, hey, you know, I, I really can build a business, create a business that not only, you know, provides opportunity for my family and me, but for other folks as well. And Steve really, not just can be, but is that model. I think people mistakenly think that our challenges are a reflection of our values, that somehow it's a reflection of our, our, our morals, but nothing could be further from the truth. You think of what his dad did. He built the rocket that put Steve on the moon, right? And Steve is building a rocket to put us on Mars. Steve, you're very deserving of this award. Congratulations on getting inducted into the Business Hall of Fame. You couldn't go to a better person. Steve Davis, you're a friend, you're a mentor. Uh, every time I'm around you, I want to be better. And congratulations on your induction to the Business Hall of Fame. Well deserved. Steve, congratulations. Uh, it is a huge uh, privilege for me to be part of the team that's congratulating you. Uh, I'm grateful for you as a friend, as a person who's invested in our community, uh, and as somebody that I look forward to uh, living out even more days with. Way to go.